Well, I'm Rhoda Keener, and I am a lifelong um, member of the Mennonite faith tradition. I was born into a Mennonite family. Um, and when I think about what our church, one of the ways that I have experienced gratitude and thanksgiving in our church has been a lot through many of the hymns that we sing. Um, I think of, now thank we all our God, great God the giver of all good, uh, come ye thankful people, come, and we plow the fields and scatter with the harvest. Um, many of the, of the um, early Mennonites were agrarian and were, were um, people of the land. Now we're much, uh, I think, more urban and, and professional um, and small town. But, um, but we all still sing, we plow the fields and scatter with, with great gusto. And we have a tradition every Sunday um, where we come to the front if we have a prayer concern or something we're thankful for, and we light a candle. Then we take the mic and we share what our prayer concern is and, um, or what we're thankful for. And that has been a really special tradition for me in that visual of all these little candles lit, which bring together both our joy and our pain. And, and so I think that is a, has been a real special thing for me at, at our church. Um, on a, a personal level, um, I uh, have a friend in Kansas, a, a Mennonite woman friend, who um, ha makes these um, beautiful table centerpieces. And I said to her one time, I said, oh, could you make one for the fall for me? And she did, and this is it. And so every um, year I put this one as my centerpiece, and it reminds me of the season of Thanksgiving. Um, now that Thanksgiving is coming, next week we will have our whole family um, of 12 there around the table, which we didn't get to do this last year with the pandemic. Um, and our three children are all grown and um, have their own children. And now our children all come from different understandings of faith. Some are active church attenders, some are not. Um, and. And so the question often is, well, how do we pray together meaningfully when we're all around the circle together? And what has been the most, um, the, the, the greatest blessing for us has been to do a circle of gratitude. And they'll say, well, what are we thankful for? Let's each do our, our thanksgiving as part of the prayer. And um, I know right now when I look at that circle, I know what I'll say next Thursday. I will say, um, I'm thankful for each of you, my family, and that we're here together. And others may be thankful for some activity they did, or, or a person around this, the table, or their own little nuclear family that's there. Um, one person had a serious car accident and came out okay, unscathed, in the last two weeks. We'll all be thankful that she is with us. Um, and. And then there will certainly be a few, at least one, that will say the food, and let's get this done and I'm ready to eat. Um, and so at the end, well, someone will say, and all the people said, amen, let's eat. So that will be our prayer. Um, and then um, just to come back to, um, to our church again, um, we um, had a church business meeting last last Sunday and we processed the business of the church and I've been keeping a, a little gratitude journal that um, and I went home after that church business meeting and I I wrote um, I'm grateful for our welcoming and loving little church family after the congregational meeting where we sang to God be the glory great things God has done and we, we dealt with the business of the church, and then we sang, To God Be the Glory. And I think that was just such a beautiful moment of, of sharing our thanksgiving together.